Double breaker bus bar system. In double breaker bus bar system, each feeder has two circuit breakers. One circuit breaker is associated with one bus. Another circuit breaker is associated with another bus. And each feeder can be diverted to any of the buses. When the circuit breaker associated with a particular bus is closed after closing its associated isolators, the feeder is connected to that particular bus. At the same time, the isolators and circuit breaker of that feeder associated with the other bus are in open condition. Let us consider the example of feeder 3 as shown in the figure. Here you see feeder 3 is here, being fed from bus B. Since feeder 3 is here connected with bus B only. Because the circuit breaker of feeder 3 associated with bus B is in closed condition along with the associated isolators. Means bus B side isolator of feeder 3 is in closed condition and the line side isolator of feeder 3 towards bus B is in closed position. So bus B is connected to feeder 3 means bus B is feeding feeder 3. At the same time, you see the isolators and the circuit breaker associated with feeder 3 towards bus A are in open position. So feeder 3 is now not connected with bus A. This is the philosophy of double breaker system. At a time, only one of the breakers associated with a feeder is in closed condition and other breaker means breaker of other side, is in off condition or open condition. Now, suppose you need to divert this feeder 3 to bus A from bus B. Then what we will do, we will close this line side isolator associated with feeder 3 towards bus A and the bus A side isolator. Then from control room, we close the circuit breaker associated with bus A or towards bus A. At that instant, you see, just after switching on this circuit breaker, means circuit breaker toward bus A, the feeder gets now connected to both of the buses, means now that both buses are sharing the load of feeder 3. Now switch off the circuit breaker of that feeder towards bus B from the control room and then open the isolators associated with this circuit breaker, means bus B side isolator and line side isolator of feeder 3 towards bus B. Both are open. Then the feeder is diverted to bus A from bus B without any interruption during this operation. Have you seen any interruption? There is no interruption. That is the main advantage of double breaker bus system. Another advantage of double breaker system is that there is no need of bus coupler because the entire diversion operation is done by operating circuit breakers only. So, there may not be required any bus coupler bay separately for double breaker arrangement, but this arrangement is not economically feasible for low voltage system. Only we use this type of arrangement in ultra high voltage system like 400 kilovolts and above because this is much expensive because here each feeder will have two circuit breakers, so it will increase the cost 